Grace and peace to you for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, we're going to do Proverbs chapter 6. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. Praise God. Glory to God. And it reads, My son, if you have put security for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are sneered in the words of your mouth, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself. For you have come into the hand of your neighbor. Go, hasten, and plead ungreatly with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep, and your eyelids no slumber save yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter like a bird from the hand of the fowler go to the ant o sluggard consider her ways and be wise without having any sheaf officer or ruler she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When you when will you arise from your sleep? A good sleep, a good slumber, a good folding of the hands to rest in poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like and want like an armed man a worthless person a wicked man goes about with crooked speech winks with the eyes signals and his feet points with his fingers with Perverted hearts devise evil, consciously sowing discord. Therefore, calamity will come upon him suddenly. In a movement, he will be broken beyond healing. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are in an abomination to him. Heidi eyes a lying tongue and in hand hands that are shed innocent blood a heart that devise wicked plans feet that make haste to run to evil a false witness who breathes out lies and one who sows discord among brothers my son keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching bind them on your heart always tie them around your neck when you when you walk they will lead you and you lie down they will watch over you and when you awake they will talk with you for the commandment is a lamp and the teaching of light and the reproofs of discipline are the way of life to preserve you from the evil woman from the smooth tongue of the adulteress do not desire her beauty in your heart and do not let her capture you with her eyelashes for the price of a prostitute is only a loaf of bread but a married woman hunts down a precious life. Can a man carry fire next to his chest and his clothes not be burned? Or can one walk on not hot coals and his feet not be scorched? So is he who goes into the neighbor's wife. None who teach it touches her will go unpunished go do 
people do not despise a feth if the steals to satisfy his appetite when he is hungry but if he is caught he will pay sevenfold he will give all the goods to his house he who commits adultery lacks sense he who does it destroys himself he will get wounds and dishonor and his disgrace would not be wiped away for the jealousy makes a man furious and he will not spare when he talks revenge he will accept no consultation he will refuse though you multiply multiple gifts so this is a beautiful beautiful thing that he tells us and he's so wise to telling us like hey listen to me all this stuff be merry with your wife don't be adulterous with looking at other women and good looking or or whatever and 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 and, and try to commit adultery or fornication with somebody else you really have somebody in your life and it's your wife love her cherish her and plus when it comes to talking back bad to your neighbor that is totally totally against God and he even, even says even David says that that even even David says that he says there are six things that the Lord hates seven are in an abomination to him haughty eyes a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood a heart devised wicked plans feet that make haste to run to evil a false witness who breathes out lies and one who sows discord among brothers that's what the Lord hates and the first one is a lying tongue haughty eyes haughty eyes and lying tongue and that's one of them that that he he hates and, and it's an abomination so when Jesus came here he even says that God hates liars I think that it's a better understanding that we as Christians we have to say oh I've never been a liar no we're all liars and we need Jesus Christ every day every night every breath every heartbeat we need to repent of all those things that God hates and it's according to an abon uh, an abomination against God it's an ab abomination so yes repent come to Jesus because he's the only one who loves you and I love you you take care of yourselves if you need any questions or prayer requests please leave them down below and you know what Jesus as long as you go out and walk in him with him and your repentance is true God will protect you in your spiritual body. May the glory of God be with us and always gives us grace, mercy, and love. Amen. Hallelujah. Maranatha.